Whew. Okay, so I've got 30 minutes of running done and now I'm doing my cool down walk. Today is going to be day one of simplifying and cleaning up our house. We have wanted to get rid of a bunch of junk for a long time now and it's always just such a satisfactory feeling <laughs> when you can get rid of old stuff that you haven't used in forever, that you don't need, that somebody else could be using. And just to feel less cluttered, especially uh, the way 2020 has gone, I feel like we could all use a little less clutter in our lives, <laughs> simplify a little bit. The first task we're gonna start on is cleaning out the shed, which you know right now has a lot of bunnies living in it and God only knows what else. Our plan is to just spend 15 minutes a day because it's clearly very hot in Arizona right now. It's August. It's probably the worst month ever to start a project, but that's why we figured if we could commit to 15 minutes a day, we would get something done. So here we go. All right, so that was just our first 15 minutes of solid work. What do you think? I think it's gonna be a lot easier than I originally thought. All like right. we made a ton of progress already. I think so too. Like we can even, we can walk in here, which we couldn't do before. All right, so we're gonna do this for the next four days, 15 minutes each day. We're gonna document it, see how it goes. Um, uh, Cause it's always nice to see progress like that, I think, so. Yep, easy enough. Day two, <laughs> just finished my run, doing my cool down walk again. There's some cloud cover today, which is really nice. And we're gonna do another 15 minutes on the shed. Last night we had a huge 
huge dust storm and like wind and lightning come through. So I uh, probably be, if I haven't already, sharing some pictures of lightning. It was really cool, kind of creepy. Thank goodness, because to do this for any longer than 15 minutes would just not be fun. It's not fun at all. The whole point of doing these videos is to show that you can do anything for 15 minutes a day, chip away at it, and that way you're still, I mean, the time's gonna pass anyway, so you might as well do something productive with your time. So, time's up, but I have to show you these um, eggs. Here they are. They're definitely not bird eggs. When they were on the ground. I did see a lizard last night, which I um, mean, outside of the garage, which makes me think it's a lizard, but so crazy. What do you think, guys? Lizard? If you know what it is, let me know. That was day three in Arizona. Every quarter do bulk trash pickup. You know, you can put it out there for a week before they actually come and get it. And we have a bunch of stuff that we don't want anymore. We can't use. It's not necessarily trash. So if people come and they want something, they can just take it and take it off our hands and then, you know, it's utilized. And then whatever's not taken by the time the trucks come is, is trash. All right, day three done. Day four is hot. It was 91 degrees at the start of my run. Um, thank goodness for sprinklers at the park because 
I definitely took advantage of those and ran through those as often as I could. Okay, so it's so hot and miserable today that I really just wanted to get started. Um, Dan was still sleeping and I said, just keep sleeping. I want to go get started and get this over with. If, even if I do the 15 minutes by myself, I don't care. I think what I'm gonna do, because it's so hot, is we found some uh, furniture covers that we didn't know what had happened to them. <laughs> Turns out they were in the shed. Um, so I'm just gonna hose those down. Since it's so hot, it seems to make sense to do something uh, revolving around water <laughs> versus dust. So I'm gonna start my timer um, once I get over to the other side of the house. Okay, well, that's the end of day four. We definitely went over the 15 minutes, um, mostly because I just didn't know where to start today, and so that took some time. Um, I got through two of the chair covers by myself, and then luckily Dan woke up and came out and was able to help me with the last one, because I don't know how the heck I would have done that one without him. But we've had these things sitting in the shed for a couple years, and our actual furniture that we paid way more money for is getting destroyed now by birds and weather so mm -hmm. we figured we would clean those off and use them again. I think that's it. Yep. We have one more day of this for this week. I'm looking forward to taking a break and um, going up to cooler weather. We're going to yeah. be heading up to Prescott on um, Friday after work so I'm very excited for that because this heat is ridiculous. Day five is too beautiful of a morning to pass up a walk before I get my foam rolling in, before we work on the shed. Day five, it was a little difficult for us to do some things today because we have three huge uh, mechanical pieces in the shed that we can't really do anything with until we sell them or just put them out on the curb. And we can't put items out on the curb until tomorrow. So um, that's gonna have to wait until the next week when we're back in town. And they're very bulky, very heavy. So we didn't wanna get into that right now. We have a very busy day, lots of things to get done today. So what did we, we just kind of... Vacuumed, I put the one piece together, cleaned up 
We got rain last night, so a, a couple of, of things we were trying to keep were sitting in buckets of water, which we're not used to down here. So yeah, it hadn't rained in probably a good solid three to four months. Probably longer than that. Yeah, I, I mean, like this type of torrential downpour happens very infrequently out here, and. Of course, the, when we decide to clean out the shed, everything's on the side of the house, not in the shed, and then gets rained on, but it's fine. We just dumped out all of the water and put them back under the shed for this weekend. Um, they'll dry out very quickly because it's Arizona. Um, so yeah, and now we've got to clean a few things out of the pool because it got hammered from the storm last night. are on our way to Prescott we're almost there we just wanted to thank you guys for following along in this video I wanted to put this together because I thought it would be an interesting experiment to see how easy it is to chip away at a daunting project uh, just 15 minutes a day a lot of the times we, you know we all have these projects they're big they're, they seem insurmountable you don't want to spend your weekend working on it so I thought, why don't we just chip away at it 15 minutes every day? That's what we did this week as a test, and I think it really worked out well. Do you have anything to add, Dan? Uh, yeah, sorry I'm driving, but <laughs> um, yeah, the 15 minutes was really good, and I don't know, uh, well, I think we're both like this, is once we get started, I just want to plow all the way through. So it was nice to just have that timer go off and be forced to stop and walk away from it and come back later. Um, and I was actually really surprised at how much we were able to do within 15 minutes. And suddenly the week is over and it's almost done. So it was, it was um, a nice change and a nice way to tackle something that neither one of us really wanted to do, so. Yes, I agree, very well said. Well, we hope that you guys enjoyed watching the video, and um, we're, we're going to continue doing it next week, I think. I really enjoyed doing the video portion of it and editing and putting stuff together, so... I enjoyed just... getting the shit cleaned out. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks. You can stop the video, but before you do, give it a thumbs up. There's a horse right there, you think so crazy. <laughs>